Water Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are setting this up. I finished building his tank yesterday. He's been in here all night. He spent a large amount of time exploring this tank and it makes me so happy. Now all three of my adult snakes officially have six foot tanks and I'm super excited about it. Maybe next week we'll do these two either next week or the week after with these two lover geckos and then we have the bearded dragon one. The bearded dragon one is taking a little bit longer because the smell of silicone is basically gone but if you put your head in there and inhale you can still get like a little tiny whiff of silicone. We're just gonna wait until it's safe for her. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by the Doobie Dudes. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about the super cool company and how you can save 10% off of your entire order at doobiedude.com. Let's get started. In last week's video, we actually built this tank and installed this background. So we're not going to go into detail about that, but long story short, this is a universal rocks background that is siliconed and spray foamed into place. So once the background was given the appropriate amount of time to air out so that it no longer smelled like silicone, I started building this tank. We are not going to do a drainage layer for this tank since it's not bioactive, it's just naturalistic. And also because this is not going to be a wet tank that's being sprayed down. So we can just jump right into the substrate. For this, I'm using a mixture of topsoil, children's play sand, and some refty soil. I know I've seen a couple of comments lately on past videos about this type of soil containing slow release fertilizer. So I read over the entirety of the back of the bag because that's where I was told it says that. And there's nothing about slow release fertilizers. I've been using this for a few years now and I've never had an issue. If you do know where this is, please let me know. This ended up taking total three bags of topsoil and about two quarters of a bag of play sand and all the repti soil that I had left. Once all that is in place and it's a nice fluffy consistency that he can burrow into, but that will actually hold burrows, I started putting the driftwood and climbing areas into the tank. The reason that I was so excited to give him this specific tank and this specific background is because he does love to climb so much. So now he's gonna have a lot of room to do that and he's already been doing that, which makes me so happy. Oh, and also on the end there, you can see his giant water dish. He got a much bigger, much more appropriately sized water dish in this tank too. Then his giant grass plant. This plant lived and survived for such a long time before it finally started slowly turning brown and died. But he spends most of his time in this dead grass. He will curl up inside. That's why it kind of has weird empty spaces and bunched up spaces all around it because he curls up inside of it so I moved that to this tank too and he's just gonna have some dead grass in here. And for heating this tank, we are just going with a regular halogen basking bulb. This one is a 100 watt basking bulb and it gets some very good temperature gradients in here. The hottest spot is a little over 100, which is a little too hot for them, but it's very concentrated to one spot. And so it makes under the stump, under the ledges and the places that he really enjoys hanging out. It keeps those places around about 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm also adding some leaf litter in here just for some enrichment and to make it look a bit more naturalistic. This tank currently does not have a UVB light because it did not arrive in time for this video, but he will also be getting UVB lighting in this tank as well. And there's that giant water bowl that I was talking about. He is going to be so happy. He enjoys getting in the water, so yay. Thank you. 
for people that were concerned the last time I built one of these big six foot custom reptile habitats tanks about the noise that the glass made, the it has been upgraded. Huge difference. And the last step before he goes in is to just put his favorite underground hide in here, just burying it down for him and making sure that he can find the little entrance. There you go. And that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. I think it turned out super cool and he seems to like it as well. He is still about to shed and even with shedding, he explored this whole tank all day yesterday. So that's pretty impressive. Just a disclaimer, if your snake is about to shed, it's probably not the best time to set up a new tank for them because they can't really see all that well. I, however, did not know who's about to shed. This has happened every single time. But that is it. That is all that I have for this week's video. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by the Doobie Doo. The Doobie is an awesome place to get feeder roaches for your reptiles that eat bugs. Doobie roaches are an amazing source of nutrition for reptiles. They are high in protein. They have a good moisture content. They are low in fat. They are just healthy. Their exoskeleton ratio to nutritional ratio is just better in general than that of crickets. Doobie roaches are awesome and they are what I always recommend for feeding bearded dragons and leopard geckos and my crocodile skink eats them, my cave gecko eats them, all of the reptiles that eat insects. If you do happen to order from the doobie.com, make sure to use the code L and you can save 10% off that order, which is an awesome deal. Thank you so much to the doobie dude for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here, and this week's Instagram shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking and following and subscribing and commenting and sharing and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Okay. Can you see him? Do, 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 do. You want to come out? No? He's shedding. He's, he's not going to. Test, test. Make sure my volume is good. Good. Test, test. Okay. Good. More reptilians, welcome and welcome back. Now, all of my snakes officially have tanks that are, well, the, now all three of mine. And then, do, 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 do. Uh, there's bags of sand. It's an awesome place to get feeder reptiles. Yeah. The doobie, doobie, doobie roaches for your insectivorous reptiles, insectivorous, insectivorous. The doobie doobie roaches for your insectivorous reptiles. That's such a funny word. Um, distraction.